It all started on February 27th this year when Rwanda closed its border with Uganda at Gatuna in Kabale and Chanika in Kisoro district respectively. This affected hundreds of cargo trucks destined for Rwanda. This tension took a huge toll on business, preventing traders from engaging in trade, as had been the case before. Yes, the border has been opened. However, business is not flowing as it should. Even the mere act of closing the border and making the pronouncements that were made at that time hampers the flow of business. There are people who are now not so confident crossing either to Rwanda or from Rwanda to Uganda because they are not certain about will this happen again. As a result, the East African Business Council is said to unveil a detailed assessment of the impact and losses believed to be in millions of dollars. We are racking up the numbers and it's a very harrowing figure. Yes, you're talking about millions of dollars. You're talking about millions of dollars also because of what I've mentioned. What about the future? We, we've looked at the, the biggest uh, importers, exporters. We've received their, their numbers and we're compiling them so that we present it formally to the, the Council of Ministers. Because we want it to be understood at Arusha by the political leadership that they should not make this kind of move, this kind of, take this kind of action. The report is expected to be presented to the Council of Ministers of East African Community in a week's time in Arusha, Tanzania. The business community, who are the engine of the East African integration, also want to meet the two heads of state. We've actually sought um, audience with both presidents, but equally importantly with the, the Council of Ministers of the ESC, as well as the foreign affairs uh, ministers of both countries. Hill told Hen TV that some manufacturers and importers in the region have since scaled down their future plans of investing in the region until they are reassured by the regional leaders of what the future holds. An importer in Uganda who is planning to get goods from, let's say, Turkey and deliver them to Kigali is thinking twice about should I really do that. An exporter who is planning to produce in order to send goods to Rwanda is going to cut down on production because he's thinking if I'm producing milk, won't my milk perish when the shelf life run out before that border is opened? If it's closed again, what do I do with the goods that got stuck? Currently, the East African governments are in the budgeting process for 2019-2020 financial year. Kaheru says countries are likely to cut down their cash budgets as a result of Rwanda-Uganda conflict. They all need to stop and think, what have these political actions done to our budgetary processes? How much business have we lost and what's it going to mean for next year's budget? Are we going to be able to collect that much money? The East African Business Council is the regional apex body of the private sector associations in the East Africa. The council was formed to drive the East African community integration process through trade and investment. Jingo Francis, NTV.